Hello everyone and welcome back to Cities by Steven. You're talking to Steven. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button. Get that bell notification on too so you don't miss out on a video. Welcome back to the channel where last episode we built up the small town of Dunn in the north of the map. And uh, you know we also got a metro out that way, an above ground metro. And that was a lot of fun to do. A lot of uh, planning on kind of the end station side of things. And the rest of it, I'm not sure how exactly it's going to play out uh, with the future development of the region. Uh, but what's in store for today's episode will be, well, we are going to be building the forestry industry for this map, and we're going to center it around the town of Dunn, the town that we built up on Wednesday. So that is in store for today. Um, but before we get going on a couple things, I just want to mention that my schedule in October is going to change. So it's not going to be a three episode a week situation like it has been for the past little while apart from the occasional week off. Um, I'm going to be kind of going to a bit more of an ad hoc style for the month. I'm just really busy. I don't think I'll be able to maintain a, uh, a quality schedule of three episodes a week. So um, I posted a, a schedule on a rough schedule on uh, my Discord. So the link to join uh, the Discord is in the description. And it's also a shared Discord with the other members of the Skyline 6, which is a multiplayer series that I have going on with five other city builders. Um, pretty much it's going to be at least an episode a week, at least, with it majority being a two episode kind of two episode a week kind of situation. Um, I will have a couple special episodes planned uh, for the for October, so hopefully I'll be able to have enough time to actually put those together. Um, but uh, yeah, so let's hop out and take a look at Dunn. So this is the town of Dunn, and this is kind of the main intersection of the town. And uh, I think it's pretty cool. We got some of the old seaside, or some of the, the new, the new old buildings for this from the seaside resort uh, in the area. So we have the post office, the small uh, town church. We got this is a fire station, but it looks like a town hall. So we got that. This is a police station, but it looks just like an old school. I don't know. And then we got some old buildings through here. We got the post office, and uh, yeah. So I've gone through the main street here, and I've made a bunch of buildings historical. Um, I also put a water tower in here. We have a, a cool cinema over here. I really like this laundromat building with the uh, the large parking spaces. Um, and then we come through the main town here. Another old building. A couple diners. Oh, we lost a building. And it starts getting a little elevated over here, but that's okay. And, uh, and yeah, I really like these buildings in particular. I'm actually going to make sure that we save these ones. So I'm going to make these historical because I really like the look of them. Uh, yeah, okay, so oh, and then we have a gas station over here as well, which is pretty cool All right uh, Before we get going on today's episode I do want to mention that I made some changes over in Ordway So that's all the way over here. So beyond the downtown Over on this side. So um, I upgraded this road through the Ordway cut to be a bit of a, a larger road um, and I've upgraded all the roads or downgraded all the roads from being a highway kind of style to being a bit more of a, a pedestrian friendly normal avenue roads situation so there's a pedestrian crossing here for example but the roads go a little bit slower a couple other pedestrian crossings so it's less of like a highway interchange and more of like a an arterial interchange hopefully that kind of slows things down I was thinking about uh, removing this connection here and bringing it in at a bit more of a sharper turn and then uh, bringing a road from this side over into here maybe connecting it right up into there or um, you know onto this road here uh, but that is to be seen uh, but I did make a bunch of name suggestions or name changes to these roads so uh, Jen re recommended that I make a road for her dog so we got Lamont Street and Lamont goes all the way from here because this is actually a highway at this point. Uh, all the way through the main town of Ordway Hills. And yeah, pretty major road. Uh, we got Beagle Street, which goes right down into here. Huckleberry Hound Drive. We got Lassie. We got Astro, Dino, and Hobo Crescent. Hobo is from The Littlest Hobo. It's a Canadian show. I had to include that since we were doing some other dog TV shows. <laughs> um, we got uh, Rentintin. And Astro again. Oh, did Astro get used twice? 
It might have gotten used twice. That's okay. Um, and then there's a couple other ones. There's Dog Drive and Peabody Drive. Um, and then Togo Drive. Togo is actually also the name of our statue over here in Kevin's Adventure Park. Uh, so thank you all for your suggestions. If you have any other dog-related suggestions, uh, we'll be continuing Ordway uh, into this area over here and then also building up in this area. And I'm going to build another kind of dog park as well. So we'll see how uh, that all turns out. So any other suggestions that work with the theme, uh, let me know. Um, and then I also detailed up the uh, roundabout. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm a bit ahead of schedule for the recording. So uh, although that was a Friday video, normally I would be able to have those changes uh, in a uh, Monday or Wednesday episode. But um, like I said, October is really busy for me. And uh, that busy schedule actually started the week before. So <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, okay, so here we are in Dunn. Dunn is a forestry town. As we get going on the industry, I'm just going to add in some more residential zoning to get it kind of leveling up as we do. And I'm just going to add residential into here. A bit worried about this street, actually. So let's call that back. Yeah, just, uh, just on this street here. Um, and then we'll get some more residential right through here. And then right along the side of this. I'm not sure how we're going to build out this way yet. So... I'm going to leave it. We have an elementary school and I don't know what I'm going to do with this zone here. So we are going to leave it. It's um, the grids kind of get displaced by the topography. So it makes a little bit of an interesting kind of a road system through here. But uh, we're going to be building out the forestry industry over here. So lot planned. Uh, one major factor when you're building an industry from the industry's DLC is it's really important to make sure that you have enough cargo. Uh, capabilities and so a cargo train is going to be really really helpful here um, so I'm gonna build two train stations one of them is gonna be a cargo station and one of them is gonna be a historical passenger station so we're gonna start with the historical passenger station because it's quicker and then we'll dive into the cargo station which is gonna be over here we're gonna talk about how we're gonna get that connection up into what is going to be the Dunn Forestry Industry Dunn Forestry Limited is the company's name <laughs> so uh, yeah, and um, I am going to be looking for a way to smoothly get a rail line either onto this part of the map right in here, um, or maybe even get a secondary connection through the mountains or something. Uh, just because we, I would like another out of bounds connection through here, but uh, the topography does not lend well to rail line building. Uh, okay, so uh, why am, am I going to build a passenger train station out over here? Well, I'm thinking that way back in the day, there was a, at least like a, a stop here. It seems like we have some pretty major roads coming through here. This was at one point the old country road for the area. So it would make sense that maybe this road, maybe this whole intersection here is new. And this country road actually went right down to the station. And we're going to try to figure out a way to get it to look nice. To have like a path leading up to the town. So the town is built on the hill because of the forestry industry and uh, and uh, this old kind of main thoroughway of connecting the regions. And they couldn't bring the train up this hill because it's, you know, it's a pretty steep hill. So they left the train station down here. So let's look at the train stations and talk about which one we're going to use. So I believe that there is a new one with the content creator pack, the historical train station. So I... Um, I'm okay with using this one um, because I'm pretty sure we can use them twice. So I think that'll be good. I was a little worried about them only being available kind of once, but I think we'll be good to use it multiple times. So why right here? Well, it's the flattest land on this side of the track. It's going to be really quick, kind of like on ramp, like on and off or yeah, off and on, sorry. And so we'll re-level all this area. And then over here is the other flat area for the cargo train. And it's big enough that we can kind of squeeze a yard in, I think. So we'll have to uh, work that one out. Uh, but so let's get a road through here. It looks like we're actually going to need to re-level some things uh, throughout this area. So let us do that right now, actually. Boop. 
but uh, yeah, I'm not sure if this is going to still be in use. That's the thing, as I, I want to place this down, but I might turn it off and make it a bit of like a, just kind of it being, kind of playing with it being a historical uh, train station for the, for the region and it doesn't actually function anymore because we have such a strong metro connection into the city. So it looks like I'm a bit far away. Let's grab all of this and then let's shift this all down to about right here. Now the thing is, I think a station like this would be right over top of the main line, but I could definitely see them keeping the historical building and being like, well, you know, the traffic is actually too heavy that we need to actually move the main line so that maybe they moved it slightly. At some point, that'd be quite the expense though. Nothing fancy. And let's grab move it again. Let's set this all to the same height as that. And I think this should be good, but let's readjust the height of this whole situation. We're going to need to re-slope it pretty far. And let's just re-slope it all the way to here. Whoa. Can... Oh. There we go. So yeah, 5%, 2%. So I think the train line is still fine at 1.5%. So I'm not too worried about that. And we get to have a cool story for the town. And all of this is going to kind of play into the story of Dunn. So there we go. We got this. Let's... Um, Oh, this is quite the drop, isn't it? Let's see if we can readjust just a few things. So this is the node that we put all the height to. Uh, I think we need to add another node in. That looks a lot better. And again, with the heights, it's, it's fine. It's not exact. But I think it uh, I think it works for the theme. And if we ever want to run a, a train line out here, we can. So I'm going to turn off that. We're going to turn off the station. It's just an old historical station. We can even detail it up with some dirt here with the surface painter. Fill in this area. Kind of looks like the rocks between the train tracks. Yeah, this looks pretty cool. Let's fill it all in and also help remove some of the height textures that are appearing. All right. Why don't we add some pavement in here then? Actually, forget about it. We don't need to do that yet. Uh, okay, so let's remove that. Actually, let's leave that. How are we going to connect this up? Well, I think we're going to connect it up right from here, and that's probably our best bet. This is a road that's going to literally cease like to have no purpose so uh, let's just do this on a nice smooth curve bring it right in like that there we go and then I'm just going to readjust this there we go fused everyone uh, I think we're also going going to need to upgrade uh, or downgrade this road to have intersections there we go and then we'll do that all right, so uh, this is kind of the main, the old main passenger line here. So I, I would assume that there would be some town that kind of got built up around here uh, at some point, and that would be pretty neat to kind of uh, do. And then we can also run a, a road from here, this this kind of smaller suburb of Dunn. Uh, we can probably run, yeah, I think we can get a couple of connections. We can probably run a road kind of down here and connect it up into there as well. This is where we have our metro coming to. And there's actually two lines. I forgot to, put, to do the other line. Uh, that goes right to the downtown, so I did that. Um, okay, so it actually, since I didn't actually show it on camera last time, so this one goes 
Yeah, so this one. Is it that one? Might as well just check it out. Yeah, so it's the teal line. So it goes like this. It splits off right here and goes right into the uh, bus hub. And then it turns around um, and it comes right back because I, uh, I'm not set on how it's going to play out with the express lines and everything like that and how it's going to work through here. So right now it's just an express to the bus station. But that is just for now. Uh, let's figure out that road that I was talking about because we got to get going on the forestry industry and the cargo station. So let's take this road. And this would probably be the main road, so it makes sense that we could just literally run it straight down here. Let's actually re-align ourselves with the rail. Just like that. And then this one we can freeform up to here. Alright. And then we will get this main connection right down into here. It can literally just be straight, I guess. Yeah, why not? Then we can connect this up. And this will turn into an industry road to kind of show that this was a road that went this way at one point, but the city probably cut it off for the purpose of the rail line or the metro line. Let's see if we can actually do this really quickly. Do that, and then what I'll do is I'll delete these two roads. There we go. So that is the same road, but we'll run this somewhere along in the future, and we'll just say that the city deemed it not necessary. Um, although we do have this right here, maybe what we can do is we can switch this up a little bit so we can get a road underneath here. And do something like this so this is the more modern road and so this one goes straight like that but what we'll do is we'll have a more modern curve to the road but right here like that and then we can bring it right underneath here six point four percent so this is not a trucking route <laughs> but uh, it's fine and then we'll grab that industry road straight and this one is going to do this yeah so we have the original road but now the road usually most people would go this way nowadays because that other road serves no purpose um, okay and then this gives us more reason to develop over here in the future as well so we'll leave it at that over on this side um the bus now from done turns around right here um okay so let's get a quick little grid through here with some old roads let's go with some tree lined roads and we'll just make a couple of quick connections off of these nodes here and we'll have another one right here Um, yeah, something like that works. And then I think we're going to need to change up this whole road. This one can be a four lane road. Oh, uh, wrong one. I'm looking for this one. And then, um, we, this can probably be a couple things. I don't think it would be wrong of us to... Uh, make this entirely a four-lane road, but I think we could do something like this, and then what we'll do is instead of this being a highway, we can make this a a fast road, no parking. So I'll upgrade this whole thing like that, and then we'll go into TMBE, and uh, what is it? Speed? Here we go. Let's go to 60. That makes sense. 60 kilometers per hour that is. And we'll just do this whole thing at 60. Oh, whoa. Uh, looks like there's a small node right there. So let us fix that. There we go. All right. So small little community right in here. Probably grew up around the train station thinking that it was going to be a... Uh, an up-and-coming kind of part of the town, but the fact that uh, it's down on the hill 
means that it cannot, it could not really uh, become such a town. So we can do that. Um, and then we'll drag this one down into here. Let's put the topography back on really quickly. Yes, yeah, so we're starting to go down the hill a little bit more than I would like. So I think we're going to end it here. Uh, and then we'll just get a small bit of commercial right here. So we'll see if this comes up. I think we're going to need a park down in here, actually. So let's go with a dog park. Because why not? And the dog park can be. Hmm. Right here. Why not? And then we just need a little parking lot. So this can be something really small. Just get a one by four. And we'll just plop this down right here. Okay, very cool. Uh, then let's grab our trees here and fill up this. Very good. All right. So we'll let that all come in and let's talk about how we're going to get this connection up to here. So this is really steep. I think the main connection can be from this road or this road. I'm thinking this one because this is kind of the main intersection of the town, but it would make sense that this one would be the main connection into here. Um, so I think this would be a cool road. So let's see how it works with the topography. And then we'll get going on the forestry industry, well, the cargo station, and then the forestry industry. So uh, topography. Okay, so I think this one's probably your best bet because it gives us the most room to kind of connect up here. So we can do something like this, and we can do something like this, and then we'll go into network multi-tool, and we'll, we can do a create connection, just like this, and we'll con connect to here, to here, just like that. I think we can even bring it up a little bit more, which I think would probably work better. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so let's just do a couple of quick adjustments here. For example, I would love to bring this one actually a bit more out like that. And then, whoa, holy nodes. Let's uh, remove a couple. Uh, we don't need this one, for example. All right. And it's already sloped with the network multi-tool, which is fantastic. Okay, so this is actually gonna be a bit busier than I was previously anticipating. So um, I think we might need to grab this one here. Upgrade that, and upgrade this one. We okay, might as well do the whole thing at that point, and uh, we can do something like this. There we go, and we'll come back through here with the node controller, and on all these nodes, we need to make sure that this is sloped if it's not a middle node. There we go, and then this one too. Right, and then some TMPE action, just like this. All right, so it looks like a lot of traffic's gonna use this as a bit of a cut to get to the highway, which is uh, okay with me. Um, yeah, why not? Totally works. And then since it is a forestry town, let's make sure that we actually have some trees everywhere. Be a little too dense. Um, okay, and then we'll have a walking path uh, from this one. Um, let's go with a maintained path. Why not? And we'll go right from here. Freeform. Uh, topography on. And we can probably get it right up to here. Or do we try to get it out to this one? That would be cool. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, let's do that. And then let's grab this, set it to this height, and we'll just drag it in like, like that. And actually, you know what? I don't like the one with the trees for this instance. Okay, so we'll see if that brings in more pedestrians as well. And this gives us a cool opportunity to get a cool park through here. Ooh, water, of course. I knew I'd forget it at some point. Darn. <laughs> uh, all right, so that's pretty neat. Let's see how it's looking. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, all right, so now I suppose we could run a bus, but uh, whatever, that, that's that's okay for now. Uh, let's look at the, the cargo station. And then we'll get going on starting a forestry industry, which, you know, was the name of the episode. So let's remove the trees from here. Let's look at the topography. Yeah, so right in here, um, the reason why we have this curve here is to meet the topography demands. So why not also use the this curve to create a cargo station? So the one thing about this is it's going to be a little tricky to fit everything in. It's a cargo station for a lumber mill. Well, forestry industry so the the space that we're gonna need for it is pretty significant so here's what I'm thinking right we we have an off-ramp for the the, uh, the trains and then we can bring it to about here because we need that same off-ramp to come back and connect again to the, uh, the line right and then everything in between can be a yard so how are we going to fit that all in here, right? Uh, so there's a couple things we could do. We could have the yard run right up up against the um, the main line here, and then have the spur the spur line come up as far as we need it to be, and we'll kind of use the space, all the extra space for uh, extra train tracks and stuff like that. And that could work, especially seeing as we could probably help kind of build up some land here for the. Uh, for the yard. Looks like we kind of bump up a little bit. So let's actually fix that before we get going on it too too much. So we'll slope from here to here. Yeah, there we go. And then we can come back through here with the smoothing tool. Where is it? Here it is. Smooth that all out. Just do that a little bit. Save us a bit of space here. All right. So, uh, and then we also need to make sure we have the right road connections as well. So it, it can, it could get a little messy. That's all I'm saying. Uh, okay, so let's uh, grab a road. Doesn't matter what it is. Just grab a road and place it down like that. Not even thinking where, where I'm putting it because I'm going to be using Move It anyway. So cargo station. Here we are. Plop it down. Let's figure out how we're going to fit this here. So we got everything selected. Let's make sure we're just selecting next. We're just using move it for other things. Uh, so we could line it up flush against the uh, the current line, which you know could work. Could move it back a little bit like, like this. That gives us a lot of room to play with. Um, and then this whole section in the middle can be for um, the uh, the yard or what I could do is we could move it kind of this scooch it like that a little bit and then what we'll do is we'll have it connect up and then we'll have another line that goes right back off but then we'll have a, a yard over on this side like against this line and then we can run the main connection into the line itself it doesn't have to necessarily go through the cargo line let's try that out actually and see how that works So I think when it's coming out of the station, I don't think it necessarily, it, I think it could handle a bit of a curve at that speed. So let's tr I think that's going to be fine like that. And then let's uh, clear the trees here, grab the rail and go to the topography here.
I wonder... Yeah, we could try to run it right along the side here, but we are on a bit of a hill. I wonder if we can kind of curve it up like this, and we can try to make it seem like we can load things onto uh, the rails from this side. That could be pretty unique. Something that we haven't done before. Let's see how it looks if we just get three of uh, these lines here. Set them all to the same height, and then let's actually set it to the same height as the cargo station. And uh, then we actually need to move these together. Like that. Then why don't I actually just grab all of these and copy it and just plop them down again. There we go. So we have a pretty big lumber yard here. How we're going to connect them up and make it seem like we're actually going to be able to load things onto it. That is a bit of a trickier question, right? Because because this is kind of the, the main kind of lo loading bay, right? Um, so I think we're a bit close. Let's grab it all. And so traditionally, I think the yard should be kind of like over here, right? I think this is probably the one that makes the most sense. We run all the connections through here. It's just that we're on a hill, though. That's that's the one kind of factor. Hmm. Let me figure this out really quickly. Okay, so this is what I figured out. Um, I think it's gonna work. Uh, well, it, it will work, um, but I think it kind of works with a, a good theme. So the trains come in through here, they can pull off into the station, they can unload here and whatnot, um, and they can take off right back through. And then if the train needs to pull off to kind of stop and you know wait to get unloaded, they can pull out into here and then they come right back in, theoretically, obviously. Um, or a train can come right in and pull into the yard um, so I think this this works. I want to make sure that we have a good kind of access point through here. So we'll do that. Um, but I'm not going to worry too too much about decorating the cargo station because we've kind of come to the end of the video, or you know, getting towards the end of the video. And I want to make sure that we uh, get the name of the video going, it's starting a forestry industry. Um, so let's do that. I think that curve works. Uh, this is just a normal uh, road here. Um, I think we're going to need to upgrade everything here to be a little bit smoother. So let's run a industry road. Like that. And then I think what we're going to do is we're going to have to run a bit of a, a loop here. Um, you might even need to run it a little farther along like this. So what's going to happen is we're going to make the cars take a right and then go through and come back to unload. And I think this will work at this angle that we're on. Um, so let's just kind of go to about here. Hopefully this works. And maybe that we can make like a bit of like a weighing station or something out this way. There we go. So hopefully all the, the cargo comes in and out through um, 
the trucks taking this turn here. So I wonder if we can actually even bring it like this. Oh, let's make sure we remove this node. There we go. Yeah, and then so it's a bit of a better angle here. And then we can get some yards and whatnot along this side. For example, if we bump this out a little bit more, we go into the warehouses. I believe I can squeeze one in right here with move it. Oh, maybe not. Oh, we're so close though. If we go right up against the cargo, I think it's fine. Maybe what we need to do is just move this station along a little bit more. And then we can scooch this over, <laughs> in theory. I think it works. It's pretty tight, but I think, I think regardless, we can uh, make this work right in here. Yeah, why not? Right there. Perfect. Okay, and then we can make this, uh, put it to empty, and then we can uh, make it, um, uh, I don't know, like plain timber. And sooner, soon we'll actually have plain timber kind of uh, coming through here. So, um, okay. So, um, we need water out this way, and we need to figure out how we're going to get the forestry industry going. So, this is the whole point of the video. This whole point so far, this whole video so far, all we've been doing is creating, kind of creating the theme of done to kind of create this forestry industry. We're starting this forestry industry, but we needed to get all this other stuff in place to support it. Done is the town that is going to have the population that's going to support Done Forestry Limited. Uh, so here's the idea here. So we're going to have the extraction over on this side, and then this is a plateau right here, and this is going to be the production. So I think first things first is we need to actually add trees. So unfortunately, I didn't find a good enough spot on the map where we could have dense forest coverage. So I think we're just going to make this a dense forest coverage. And uh, you know what? Uh, it's fine. Look at that. Now I have a huge forest over here to kind of dive into. So let's take a look at the topography because this is going to be important. Again, we're developing this on a hill, which is tricky. Um, we could just draw a road from here right up to the plateau and technically it'll be fine, but we're hauling logs around and that's not exactly the most friendly of topographical zones here. Same with right here. So we couldn't even get the logs and bring them right down onto this country road either because look at the topography. So right now we can easily run a connection into here, but then the road to get to the station is gonna go all the way through here into this main intersection and then all the way around. So we need to figure out at least one shortcut. And I'm thinking what we're gonna do is we're going to have a left-hand turn from here Maybe even right here at this bend that is going to slowly and slowly and slowly and longly and surely going to connect right into here. So I think that's probably our best bet for a smooth road. So we'll run a road like that. That's where I want it. Let's get out of this view here. And we just need to make some adjustments. Just like that. Okay, very good. Uh, except for the height of this thing. What the heck's going on here? I think it's because of the slope of this node here. And then I think we should probably remove uh, both of these nodes. Uh, yeah, there we go. So perfect. We'll have the, the trucks uh, wait on the left here. And then they're going to have to make a long curve into here. And it'd be really neat if we could get it to line up directly with this and oh I guess this should probably be something like that and uh, just for now we'll use this road and that's where we want the connection so I don't necessarily mind where it is we could have it a bit flush like that uh, I would appreciate it if it was a bit lower like so and then we'll go into network multi tool and we'll say create connection and we'll go from, from here. Where is it? Create connection. From here to here. All right. 
So we need to make it a long and slow and arduous curve. I think something like that is probably good. Although I'm looking at this and I think I can do it a bit cleaner by hand. So I will just use this, this road that we have right now. It's all fine. And then we need to curve this way, which is kind of the reason why I need to do this by hand. And then we need to curve this way. So let's see how this slope is. I would love if it was under 5%. Oh, fantastic, fantastic indeed. So we'll just upgrade that. All right. Yeah, so that is gonna be the shortcut into here. Uh, I think we're gonna need to change up the lane master here, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Uh, perfect, that's actually really good. I was a little bit worried that was gonna take a little bit longer. And then now we have a direct route right into the cargo station. So any cargo coming from other directions, I think I might actually ban a right-hand turn here so that all other cargo traffic has to flow through this side. Uh, but we'll think about it. Uh, that's a pretty good, pretty good route. Uh, let's get water into here so we can get the cargo station up and running. I'm just going to run it right down into here and over. Very good. So this old uh, this old road is getting some use. And I'm pleased with it. Okay, so here we are at the end of the video. And we haven't even established the forestry industry. Even though it was the name of the episode. Well, you know what? All Everything played into this one moment. <laughs> so let's uh, dive into here. And let's see. So this is a logging camp. Uh, I actually want the main building in the extraction area rather than the production area because the building itself suits kind of a logging camp. So let's grab a road like this. Uh, sorry, this is going to actually be a industry road. It might, it's, it's probably gonna change to a, uh, a nicer road. Oh. A nicer uh, road that has multiple turning lanes. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is going to be our main access point here. And then we're going to need some dirt roads running off of it. So we're going to have a one main turn here. And I'm not sure about the topography for everything else yet. So we'll just run it out slightly like this. And then we'll have the main forestry zone right here. We'll have this bumped off a little bit. From the main road here we got the sawmill we got the tree plantation we got the log yard fantastic uh, so we are on a hill right so let's make sure that we have this at least all lined up to the same height very good all right so here is our main logging camp eventually this is going to level up and it's going to change the look eventually so we'll see how that looks in the future but let's get the first items in so we have um, oh, you know what? Before we do that, let's just do a quick little change right here. 5.9%. That is rather steep, isn't it? So why don't we actually make sure that we have the topography looking okay? Um, you know, it's tough to see. Tough to see indeed. Looks like we're going up a hill a little bit. So why don't I delete that segment right there? Yeah, and then let's go ground level. And I'll just curve it ever so slightly like this. So at least we're trying to kind of match the top, the topography. Okay, very good. And then now we'll get the tree plantations on it. So again, I'm going to leave a bit of a buffer here. And we'll place them kind of up like this. What the heck? All right, I wonder if I can use the BOB mod on these. Yeah, and then can we make it uh, the live oaks? Awesome. Blends right in. Um, okay, so let's uh, get water out this way, of course. That's going to be good for now. So we got that, and then we need to start the kind of extraction point of things, right? So. Uh, we placed this last time because we're going to fit this garbage uh, area into our new zone. Uh, okay, so here we are. I think we could probably upgrade this road eventually. This is kind of a, the main road or, or a main road of a town. 
that kind of turns into a industry area. So I think we're going to need to come off of the this road to build most things. So we'll say that the, the company owns this land over on this side. So let's get uh, just a basic road access right here. And I think we can have stuff kind of butt onto this road. But I think if we do something like this, this will be good. And then we kind of do this. Yeah, very good. And um, let's just use move it for this because I don't have time. And we're just going to move this one right up against the road like this. Okay, very good. Let's change the spawn point as well. Okay, and then now we can get some of these sawmills out over here. So we got the sawmill. Uh, so I want them to have their butt up against the um, the road over here. And then we'll put one right there as well. All right. Yeah, very good. Now these buildings do actually connect fairly well if you need to. Just need to line it up right. Ah, it looks fine. Uh, okay, so then we have the small log yard. Uh, so the small log yard, we're going to have this right here for now. Uh, I'm 100% going to move these around a little bit once we unlock the new stuff. So what's going to happen if you're new to the forestry industry is uh, trucks are going to come from this area and they're going to pull logs out of this logging point. They're going to bring them to the log yard where they're going to be pulled into the sawmills. So I have them in a line of production. We have the extraction, we have the holding, and then we have the lumber mill itself. And then all of this is going to come onto this road. We're going to run down into here. It's going to shuffle all the way down into here where we already have this setup for plain timber, which comes out of the sawmills. Plain timber. And then when we level it up to level two, We'll unlock a few more buildings. So I think we'll have the forestry workers barracks, which I'm going to put into this zone. We're going to have, oh, that's level four. It's level three. The sapling field, which I'm going to use to kind of showcase that, um, you know, there is some zones in here that have been uh, clear cut and, and whatnot. Um, and, you know, they're replanting. And then what's this? Level two. Oh, that's what we just saw. Sawmill. Uh, the biomass pellet plant is the paper mill. So we're going to have the sawmills on this side and then we're going to have a separate zone here for the paper and it's going to kind of be sectioned off like this. We're going to rework the, the road system through here to be a bit more efficient as well. This is just temporary because the, all the buildings are going to change size soon as well. Uh, the engineer wood plant comes up at level four. The pulp mill is the one that we really want and the sawdust storage as well is going to be is going to come in handy the log large log yard uh, and the wood chip storage as well is going to come so on top of that we're going to unlock uh, a couple of factories the furniture factory is one of the best ones in my opinion because it only uses one product i think yeah, maybe uh, it uses forestry products alone um and uh this building looks amazing in light industrial areas on the edges of towns so one of the reasons why i've been holding off on developing in this zone in here is this is i can definitely see this as being a factory kind of area um maybe even in here too and the furniture factory is one of those factories that works so well same with the household plastic factory i think maybe now uh, the toy factory definitely but the what the brick of the toy factory is really cool in um industrial zones as well. So we're also going to unlock the printing press. That's another really good one. The printing press looks good on its own kind of like, I don't know, like somewhere uh, where it's like the, the main feature uh, because of its uh, its look. And we're going to unlock these buildings, especially the French French factory and the printing press. We're going to unlock those by doing this. And then because of 
unlocking these buildings, these two, these two factories, we can then finally start building up in this area because I was waiting on these factories to get going in here because they're going to be the feature points of some of these builds. So, um, yeah, looks like we, we did it, folks. We did a lot of talking. We did a lot of planning. Got some, uh, some town lore in here as well as to why people as to why this part of the town exists and uh, why um, uh, don't exist in the first place, right? And uh, it's going to play well with this cargo station, which is going to have serve a couple purposes. One being it's going to ship all the goods from the forestry towns or forestry industry into the factory zones that we need them to kind of go to. And it's also going to help provide for the town of Ordway are done. Uh, now we're not done with done either. There's a lot more to expand upon, as you can see, to connect the industry zone. There's a couple spots through here that we can get definitely get some suburban expansion in here. And then we have this whole modern part of done, which we haven't even touched, but we got kind of a bit more of a story played out with some of these older roads. This road, for example, I can definitely see going out into this way. And since this is an older road, um, it can, oh, sorry, this is the older road. This one might just continue straight, for example, and become a main thoroughfare in this zone through here, which will connect up with this road here, which eventually will cross the river to become Hanover Heights. So everything we do kind of really just plays into the rest of the build. And, you know, a lot of this episode was kind of story driven. And I think that's really important to do. So without further ado, folks, I'm going to end it here. We're going to kind of have this kind of showcased as the forestry episode. So we'll do something like this for the screenshot. Uh, and I'll talk to you in October, uh, not the first Monday of October. I know I won't be having an, an episode for that, so not on Monday. But I'm hoping to have an episode for you on the Wednesday. So um, have a great day, everyone. Talk to you soon. Peace out.